My friends, hello to all of you. I just came from work and wanted to go to sleep. But then I've seen this video again from the United States of America. And you know, because I hear on this channel, I do as well breaking news, spiritual content, the chosen, the best TV show in the world. If any one of you will come and see this video that has nothing to do with spiritual matters or maybe it, it actually has something to do with spiritual matters because in America and not just in America there is a battle for the soul of our children not just a battle for our souls as we are parents but there is a battle for the souls of our children the world who is behind the world who is behind the powers of this world she certainly is not God the world comes full force for us and for our children and because us we are mature already we are adults already our children are way easier to fool easy prey and if they manage to indoctrinate our children, then uh, the, our children will turn into someone that we cannot recognize anymore. Because at home, maybe we give them good values, Christian values. We give them as a standard for their life to use and apply in their life. Or maybe if some of you are into politics uh, you know what you stand for if you are a christian you will be a conservative someone that cares about or what does it mean a conservative someone that is pro-family pro-traditional family someone that is for limited government someone that uh, treasures his freedoms especially in america there are so many freedoms there that uh, the liberals, uh, that the, those that are on the left, try to uh, <laughs> make them a history. <laughs> they try to annihilate the freedoms of Americans. As a conservative, as a Christian, you will stand for God. You will worship nobody but God. You will not consider the government as being uh, the big brother, the one that has the right to regulate you. You will stand for very limited government because uh, in the end the government was designed to be limited, not to have power over us and our life, not to tax us to death, as it happens here, for example, in the United Kingdom, where we are taxed 45 percent. It is what it is. In America, I'm not sure exactly what the taxation is, but I think uh, more or less is the same. So, I'm going to give you this video of this lovely uh, American, African American, but. If she, she is a conservative, so if I will uh, name her African American, she will be offended. She will say, I am American. The color of my skin doesn't matter, doesn't define who I am. And exactly that's what a Christian and a conservative, you don't even have to be <clears throat> necessary uh, to define yourself as a, a conservative or to identify yourself as a conservative, to say something like this, that... Um, it's not the color of your skin that defines you. What does it defines us? The content of our character. <laughs> what does it defines us? As Christians, our faith in Jesus. No matter where we're coming from, either we're coming from Eastern Europe or either we come from the Middle East, no matter the color of our skin, no matter our culture, what defines us is our faith. Jesus is the common denominator as uh, this lady this awesome lady came on Tana well uh, disclaimer um, she will have some choice words uh, 
that I do not endorse, but um, obviously she is angry, so she has the freedom to express herself. I want to make this disclaimer because I do not endorse any cursing or anything like that. But I think the video still has powerful value as it will show exactly what happened to her. K Montana, that's her name. I'm not sure this is a real name or not, but this is the name that I found on TikTok. And she talks about what her daughter experienced in an American school. This video as well is a good reminder to all of us that we should um, do something about how uh, we educate our children. And I'm a powerful advocate for private homeschooling and not sending our children to government schools. Even though here in United Kingdom, especially where we live and this is London area, it's not so bad, it's actually very much conservative here. They do not teach anything that I would consider poisonous and destructive uh, or indoctrination. They do not teach that. Maybe it helps the fact that um, the overwhelming majority of children that go to that school, the schools where my children go, they are Muslims. So they do not indoctrinate our children here. But in America, nothing stops them in these government schools to indoctrinate them, even to tell them, you will see in this case, uh, as the child of this lady is 17 and she will be able to vote very soon, it seems. Over there, they register the child to vote without the parents' knowledge and even told them who to vote, in this case Kamala Harris. And this mother, you will see, she went ballistic. She went ballistic. Why is that? Because she is not a leftist. She is not a Democrat Party supporter. Yes, she has. A, uh, her skin is black, but that doesn't mean that she uh, allows the color of her skin to dictate her opinions, her political choices. There was this uh, <clears throat> herd mentality and sadly I've seen it to a good friend of mine on Facebook, black American. He said that he's gonna vote Kamala Harris because she is black. And I said to him, why would you support someone that is so much antagonistic to every single thing that you as a Christian believe in? Why would you vote someone that endorses abortion and, you know, I'm not getting now into details, you know very well what Kamala Harris stands for, you know, as a Christian. I, I even wanted to make a video, uh, later on I'm going to do it, uh, the election is coming, 5th of November, and election in United States of America will define not just the United States of America. Why am I speaking about it even though I don't live there? Well, I have family that lives there. Even if I wouldn't have family that lives there, I still would have chosen to speak about it because what happens in America will define the destiny of all of us, really. And uh, I'm going to say it loud and clear, I know if Kamala Harris manages somehow to get in, uh, mm, then I expect uh, things that are not very pleasant to happen, just to put it very mildly. Yeah, so that's why I'm speaking about that. About the tragedy that will befall not just America, but all of us, if Kamala Harris manages to get in one way or another. And uh, in 2020 it happened, uh, you know, what happened. I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. Will it happen the same or maybe not? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. Evil has always its ways. Its ways. Let's not personify evil. Let's call it it. Let's not show respect to evil. Its ways. Evil has always its ways. So uh, you as a Christian, if you are watching this channel, you're not going to vote for darkness. You're not going to vote for someone that uh, hates your faith. 
not directly, uh, that will be uh, convenient for all of us, and uh, there will be no more, uh, no people that will be deceived. Indirectly hate your faith because she stands for everything that we do not stand as Christians. So as a Christian, obviously, you're not going to vote for Kamala Harris if you really respect your faith. And this lady, she went ballistic because they dared to indoctrinate her child at school. And the teacher's business is to teach our children, not to tell them about politics, sexuality, or race, um, their own sexual orientation, all this, this is madness. Any teacher that does this deserves to be banned for life. Because obviously they do not belong in a school system. Then they, they should do something else. I don't know what, but they should do definitely something else rather than teach children. Because teaching is math, science, English, biology, chemistry, physics, philosophy, um, art, uh, geography, uh, history. Uh, yeah, this is teaching, not politics, not sexuality, not, not this kind of thing. Anyway, I wanted to make this long comment because it, it was needed for me to comment on this before showing to you the video of this lady, video taken from her own TikTok, K Montana. It's easy to find her account. Actually, I recommend this account to you. You're going to see there are lots of interesting stuff. I advise you, if you are a Christian, you might find that sometimes uh, a language, a certain language, the way in which she talks, F words and so. It's her right, freedom of expression. We don't endorse this as Christians. Let's remember that when we were as well in this world and we didn't know Christ, we were as well speaking this way. So we need to pray for King Montana on this occasion that she finds Jesus and she finds her peace and she manages to take a child out of this public school system which is nothing else but indoctrination and destroys the mind and the heart of your child public schools in the United States of America they are horrible and us as Christians, as conservatives you might be a conservative and not a Christian it's possible to be a conservative and not a Christian, but it's impossible to be a Christian and not a conservative. It's impossible. <laughs> so, let's do something. Let's be smart. Let's uh, build up a parallel system that has nothing to do with the public school system. Let's take a look at this video, shall we? Let's, let's take a look. Let's see exactly what she says. And maybe after we can comment some more. Who knows? What do you think? Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Go. Before I start this video, I'm going to say this is a personal experience of mine, something me and my daughter is dealing with, and I have proof, just in case my video is deleted for no reason. I just want to put that out there. Today, my 17-year-old daughter was pulled out of class and was told she needed to register to vote. Not only was she told how to register, she was told who she should vote for and these are her words and i'm going to upload proof at the end of this video and i'm coming with part two tomorrow because why the fuck would y'all pull my daughter out of class telling her who to vote for i am her mother and i have yet to have this conversation with her about the upcoming election i have not signed any consent forms telling y'all that my daughter can register to vote at school I'm going to just jump right into these screenshots. That's just it. Because y'all played with the wrong mom. Here's the first page. I'm going to leave this on for a couple seconds so y'all can read it. Talking about pissed. 
telling my daughter who to vote for. You're right. And here's the second page. This is what we're doing. We're going to Pittsburgh Public High Schools telling children who to vote for. Let's make this make sense. I have never seen no shit like this in my life. I have never seen it. This is just like disgusting at this point. Yesterday, you pulled my daughter out of class and you told her that it was mandatory for her to vote. No, I didn't say it was mandatory. So that's what she told me. These okay. are her words that she said it was mandatory that she votes. No, ma'am, but go ahead, finish telling me. Okay, and that you projected your fears and insecurities on her, telling her if Donald Trump was elected, black people would be doomed. Oh, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. So let me say this. I am um, a minority inspector Okay. for 1016. And you know, as a minority expect inspector, you never, ever, ever discuss politics or your beliefs or anything like so that. So can we call my daughter down here? Because at this point, you're making it like she's a complete liar. My daughter no. has never told me someone said anything such to her like no, this. No, ma'am. So this is what happened. We were, we, I did call her down to register to vote because we're registering all the 18 year olds to vote. She's not 18, she's 17. Yeah, but she turns 18 before the election. Yeah, but I could have took my daughter to register her to vote. I did not ask for y'all to register my daughter to vote. I have not even spoke to her about the election yet. And I am not a Harris supporter. I am a Trump supporter. Yes, ma'am. So me for that. you to tell her anything, and it's like now you're saying she's lying. So now no, I want her to come down not, here. Listen, I'm not saying your daughter's lying. What I'm saying is, is that I did call her into my office. I did register her to vote. We did have a conversation about it. She did ask me about Trump. She did ask me about Harris. So we started a conversation about, you know, what's going on. Um, I wasn't projecting anything on her. I was just talking about things that are going on in the world. Yeah, did you tell her about the border being unsecure? So, Did so, you tell her about all the illegal criminals that's in this country right now? So we did have a conversation about the border, and we did talk about the border policies and all of that. We did have a conversation about everything. Um, so let me just say this, I apologize to you for offending you because that was not my intentions. I was not trying to project any of my political beliefs on your daughter or anything like That's that. That's why I don't know why the we, conversation was had. What consent forms did I sign saying I was okay with my daughter being registered to vote in school? She's still 17 years old. So what consent forms were signed for that? None. Because because there really isn't any. You know, we, we just raised their students to vote here. At every high school, they're raising their students But to she's vote. still not 18. She had until the 21st of October, I believe, to register, and her birthday is on the 5th. Right. So we are permitted to register all students whose birthday is by, that happens by the 5th because that's the date of the election. So Her birthday is October 5th, not November 5th. So she had until the, to the end of October to register to vote. So that way I could have took her as her mother and I could have explained to her what to do to look up both policies without me telling her anything. Right. This is just not right. She was asking me questions and so I was answering her questions. Yeah, because she wanted to know why did she have to get pulled out of class to register to vote? No, she didn't. That wasn't the question she asked me. She was asking me questions. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that was Hi. So now when she says she didn't tell you, you know, the stuff that you told me she told you. I that see. black people will be doomed if Trump becomes president? Yeah, she did. I didn't say black people would be doomed if Trump becomes president. We we did have a conversation about um, policies and different things like that. You know, you were asking me questions, and I was telling you about some of the policies that he had and some policies Harris had. So we did have that type of conversation. I, I don't think I was really asking questions. I think I was just really as much as so like right, yeah, right. <laughs> So you was just like agreeing, like talking? No, I'm, I'm like, I'm not really, I don't really care about it. So I'm not really engaged in the conversation as much. I'm just like, okay, like, right. 
So you didn't ask me any questions at all? No. Okay. Well, this is what I'm going to say. I apologize for raising your daughter to vote. Um, at this point, she has raised her to vote. If you would like yeah, to I change am. that. I am. Because it should not have been done in the first place. If you would like to change, you know, anything that's on that form that went in, you're welcome to do that. You I know that. Go, you can go online and do it. I know. Um, I didn't feel like I was projecting anything on you her. You are by either. telling her anything that you saying she, you didn't say black people be done. She's saying you said it. I'm going to believe my daughter because okay. she would not lie to me about something like this. Why would she lie? Why would she? Like, I asked if, like, if I could do it later. And you're like, no, it's kind of like, no, you have to do it now. Kind of mandatory. And I'm like, I don't Did really you feel like I was pressuring you? Yeah, she said she didn't I mean, want to do it at the I, moment. Did she speak to me? Honey? Yeah. I mean, did you feel like I was pressured? Yeah, I asked if I could do it another time. And you're like, no, it's kind of mentor. Um, but okay. I didn't really know if it was mentor or not. But. Okay. Well, we, we're obviously, we're going to agree to disagree on, a, on this conversation. I apologize if you feel like you were pressured. I apologize for raising your daughter to vote without your consent and without you having an opportunity to have a conversation with her or even checking anything online. Um, so that's all I can say right now is I apologize. Yeah, I'm calling the news also. Okay. Well, thank so, you yeah. very much for coming Thank in. you. And I'm taking my daughter out of the school. She do not feel comfortable. Um, I'm just completely pissed off right now. I'm pissed. So friends, that was her speaking her heart out, explaining clearly what happened how it happened uh, no need for me to say anything uh, related to what she explained she already said it and i know that you agree with her all of us we agree with her she has the right to speak personally with her child and tell her about facts of life such an important fact of life as politics whether we like it or not, politics defines the world in which we live. There are some Christian groups that do not involve at all in politics. It's debatable. Some say that it's useless as the politics of this world anyway is in the hands of the Prince of Darkness. Others say, well, maybe if we vote Christians, we could make a change or maybe if you vote people that are close to what we believe it will make a difference uh, sometimes I believe that politics is absolute useless and uh, we as Christians we shouldn't have nothing to do with it but then I changed my mind and I think maybe we should express ourselves and make our voice heard this is totally up to you whatever God leads you to do this is not a salvation issue it will not define your salvation you're not gonna lose your salvation if you decide to vote or you decide not to vote so it's totally up to you what you want to do will you vote in November the 8th, the 5th, yeah, so the 5th. And if you vote, I'm not saying to you who to vote with, but from my heart, I'm telling you who not to vote. Please don't vote Kamala Harris. Don't vote Kamala Harris. You can't vote Kamala Harris. It's up to you who you vote <laughs> but don't vote Kamala God bless you all thank you friends for watching and I hope you find this video interesting and if you like this channel you see what it's here hit the subscribe button see you soon friends oh the music spiritual music from my friend David Lastra his channel Deep Instrumental pay him a visit and see what's all about See you soon.